Alright, so this is going to be a bit of a different video. This isn't the first Mastodon video on my channel. The other one doesn't have commentary, but because I have some like, stuff to talk about, I'm going to just talk about it now and let this play, and I'll comment on stuff that's happening in a bit. But the whole reason you're getting this instead of my normal stuff, which would be, you know, anime-based, is because I'm a little bit behind, and I'm kind of busy at the minute. So you're getting, a, uh, you know, something that I just did in, like, well, five minutes of free time I had where I just played some uh, Mastodon on my phone, and, uh... I'm now recording it um, on my computer, but yeah, so I'm a bit behind on videos So hopefully the video after this which will be Friday's video won't be this it'll be you know actual good Quote-unquote good. It won't be knowing my content, but it might be uh, at least better than this. Maybe we tower job You'll have to wait and see but yeah um, Yeah, so that's why you're getting this but let's uh Might as well turn this into an actual national video and talk about what's going on here. Um, I'm against the brigades as you can see playing the new Sword Soul cards. I'm running a Sword Soul Tenyi deck because of course I am with uh, you know, typical hand trap stuff and Ecclesia because she's really good at this deck. Yeah, so as you can see my opponent's gotten a Revolt set and a fucking Appaloosa. I will be able to play through all of this and a Max C and win this duel. I am not joking. I do have basically like the perfect hand to be able to do it. But yeah, so I play the Feather Duster here just to force the revolt now, um, which actually leads to five special summons taking place on my turn, which will allow me to use the Nibiru to force a negate out of Appaloosa. So obviously he has to send a card to his grave and add one to his hand, which is just ridiculous. The fact that on his turn, he has summoned a 3k beat stick that will like, give him non-target banishes every time he special summons a beast warrior, right? A winged beast, beast, a beast warrior. And then he gets to send a card to his grave and add one to his hand. Like, that's absurd. But yeah, we play through that, and then he maxes, okay? Now, this is where things could go very wrong, because if he draws like an Ash Blossom or his own Nibiru, we're fucked. But luckily he doesn't, and here comes the second negate from the Appaloosa on the Ecclesia. And now we have the last one. Now, I'll play um, Adhara here. If he negates Adhara, then doesn't matter. Well, actually, it would. If he'd negated Adhara, it would have... Actually, no, it wouldn't have. It wouldn't have mattered if he negated Adhara or not, because if he negated Adhara, he wouldn't have had any negates, and I've still sent the shooter to the grave. I just wouldn't have been able to use it until I summoned a um, Sword Soul token, and I still would have had Adhara in the hand. But he negates my Adhara to keep his Appaloosa, because he has to. He's forced to do that, otherwise he loses his last negate. And then using Adhari, we add the shooter back to the hand, which gives us the worm that we'll need for all of our Sword Soul plays. Then we add Mo Yi, and we do Sword Soul stuff. So we use that, reveal the shooter to summon the token, to Synchro into the um, Xi Zhao, the Grandmaster, which on its uh, Synchro Summon lets us search a card, and Mo Yi, if it's used to Synchro Summon a card, lets us draw, so we are protected from an Ash Boss, because it chain link blocks. And luckily we actually draw uh, Long Yun, Long Yun, off of um, the Mo Yi, so we actually get to add Black out to our hand, which gives us a nice pop if we need it. And as you can see we then go into um, Cheng Ying, which because of Long Yun lets us do damage to him, and we just beat through all this stuff. Unfortunately we don't have lethal, we do just miss out on killing him. 2800 damage. I, without the negates, I probably would have been able to get enough damage to kill him because I could have gone to my second um, Chao Ji. Unfortunately, he does Twin Twister, my um, Blackout, so we don't get the pops and the banish because we could target this for this Knight's own destruction. Banish. And because of him using Pot Desires here, we actually get a really beefy um, what's this one called? Uh, Cheng Ying. And I goes into um, fucking Zodiax because of course Zodiax didn't get hurt with a new ban list and said Lyralusks did, even though Zodiacs are the better deck. I'm saying this because I like Lyralusks, uh, but yeah. And here we fought, he goes to the Storm and a Gate. I negate it because I kind of have to. If I don't, I lose my negate. If I do, I keep my monster at least. Now, interestingly, he put it in, the, in an attack position. I, defense position I find weird, and clearly he's not running the rest of the, um, 
well, it wouldn't matter what he was running because I just sent his cards in with uh, Cheng Ying. Uh, yeah, so nothing he did there would have been able to stop me uh, pulling the win out here. Check for if he's got any hand traps, the proc on battle, and then hit him for game. And yeah, this Sword Soul deck is absolutely ridiculous. It's super consistent, as you just saw, we played through what looked like a pretty bad hand and a horrible board state with him having Appaloosa with three negates, and yet we pulled out the win. So it's also really good. Also, we got a Fall in the Valbaz icon because it was 50 gems, so I just had to buy it. But yeah, um, hopefully next video we'll be back onto anime content. Uh, yeah, so if that's what you're here for, not, you know, Master, which is probably the case, if you're even watching this far, if you are, uh, you know, Leave a like, comment, sub, hit the notification bell, you can always change your mind later on. But yeah, that's enough for that. With all that said, I'm an animosity, you've been you, and we'll see you all next time for another video. Ta-ta, for now.